is my neighbor? I guess when I think of my neighbors, I think of the people who are next to me or around the corner, people that I'm involved in their life in a daily way. Someone they look out for me or when they're not home or what have you, and you know, if they need some, a friend or whatever, I'm there, I put it like that. Pretty much anybody I run into is my neighbor as far as I'm concerned. I live in a neighborhood, but the people that come through here are my neighbors also. What makes you a good neighbor? I think being a good neighbor is helping your community, community out, um, helping in any, any way you can and giving back to your community. I think they put out a helping hand in uh, many, many different ways, especially for people in need and um, for people like me who need them. CECOM has 10,000 neighbors that we serve each and every year. We serve them with dignity, compassion, and respect by providing opportunities to help our neighbors help themselves. That's what CECOM is. It's somewhere where our neighbor, uh, whether being in our service area or living right across the street, uh, that's, what, that's what it is, being able to lend that helping hand. Our neighbors also include our community partners who share this vision. The mission of the Healthy Homes Coalition is to eliminate hazardous housing conditions where children live so that they don't grow up in homes that compromise their future prospects in life, whether that be health or their educational attainment. I think when we look at CECOM's mission, um, it is a mission that's about the total, not only person, but the total community. So we need to be in places and spaces that are healthy for people. So whether it's fitness, or it's nutrition, or it's the environment, the air that we breathe, um, all of those things need to be healthy. And so we feel like that's a really good fit between healthy homes and CECOM. Nutritious food and health services empower neighbors by giving them the strength and energy to succeed in school, at work, and in life. As of May 4th, we started a whole healthy policy initiative. And really just kind of being focused on how can we uplift the neighbors that come through uh, and more of a health perspective. We're a healthy living hub site for the Y. Uh, they come and offer exercise classes and then offer child care for, for our neighbors. Uh, the preschool has healthy food coming through, whether it being cooked in the house or having a source, an uh, outlying source. How can we make this full circle? Without nutritious food and other opportunities for healthy living, you can't thrive. Partnerships with the YMCA, Metro Health, MSU College of Human Medicine, Calvin College School of Nursing, and Spectrum Health provide an opportunity for our neighbors to have the strength and energy to keep moving forward. A lot of people haven't seen a doctor in a couple of years. Some people do see someone regularly, but they might have high blood pressure, blood sugar, and, and not a way to check it on their own. So we're an extra way to just kind of check it and guide them whether they should go have it rechecked by their provider. We do have some education, either having ways to connect to find resources if somebody doesn't know how to get a glucometer, for example, to check their blood sugar. Sometimes we'll just give some reminding about um, what things you can do to lower your blood pressure on your own through exercise, through healthy eating and managing stress. So we do try to have a little bit of time of education if people have that. Food and health programs are only a first step on the path to empowering neighbors and breaking the cycle of poverty. Education for our youngest neighbors through the little steps at Seacom Preschool breaks the cycle of poverty by preparing them for kindergarten and setting them on the road to success. When they come to us, they are really behind. I'm not going to um, sugarcoat that. When they come to us, they're very behind and we hit the ground running with them. So what we're finding out right now, and that's why we are really pushing for the need for the three-year-old, we're finding out that children in our neighborhood really need two years of preschool to be at the par with the other kids going to um, preschool program in the suburb. Seacom's preschool is also one of the five rated star in, uh, in King County. So yeah, that's really awesome. And we are so proud of what they have done here. And uh, it is really filling a big need in this community. And without them, there will be so many children. I know 32 of them will not have access to quality preschool program. And we know when you start not even having access to quality preschool program, you're not ready for kindergarten. And if you're not ready for kindergarten, you're not ready for life. Empowering individual children is a start. What happens when you empower the entire family by helping them set and achieve goals in education and employment to help the whole family move forward? 
That's the goal of the Dual Generation Program, a partnership with the Women's Resource Center. We were looking for uh, an organization that had a preschool program so we could target our services to those moms of children in a preschool program. We'd already been in some conversation with CECOM about some joint work that we could do together and as a result of that conversation we said hey why don't we do this program this pilot pilot a program with the moms in your preschool program and so it's really just a, a joy uh, to work with them collaboratively as we focus on the moms and they're focusing in on the children it's just a really great synergy we are finding out that in addition to the children receiving quality preschool program we need to do some work with the parents so we are working to get a family coach to be around to help our parents so that it's more like a dual generation program. The children are learning, but somebody is also helping, mentoring and coaching the parent. And together we know that whatever we do will be sustained because we are hitting the two generations. Every neighbor should have an opportunity to succeed and thrive. And CECOM provides unique opportunities for our neighbors. Pride for Parents provides an opportunity for families to meet a need through volunteerism, what Beats of Hope is a microenterprise that provides an alternative way for women to earn income for their household. Beads of Hope is a women's artisan group and it is a small business, handmade jewelry um, business, where the women have um, been meeting at CECOM weekly. We've been making handmade jewelry and selling it within the community at local art fairs, at craft sales, community events. Um, and also online on their Etsy and um, Square Marketplace pages. Um, it's been an opportunity for us to um, teach each other new skills, um, for the women to be creative, and then also from the sales, 25% of the sales goes back into the business for supplies or running of the business, and then the women uh, split the 75% of the sales, so it's an opportunity for them to generate some income for themselves and their families. A neighbor is more than the person who lives next door. A neighborhood is more than a few blocks near your home. We are all neighbors. By helping your neighbor today, together we can build hope for tomorrow.